right guys, I just got off my Greyhound bus and I arrived here at South Station in Boston. I am so excited to go explore Boston. Let's go, shall we? Boston, you have really impressed me. This is so pretty. So this is kind of my plan for Boston. We are gonna be doing a bunch of walking tours around the city because Boston is one of the oldest cities in America. And so it has amazing architecture that I want to take advantage of and explore because I love historic and old buildings. Um, we're gonna check out the Boston Commons. We're gonna check out some of the other architecture and then head into the harbor. Also, I didn't know this, but Boston is a huge university city. Like seriously, you've got Harvard, you've got MIT, you've got Boston University, you've got like, a bunch of other colleges that are scattered around the city. Most of the time I'm being mistaken for a student while being here in Boston, but that's okay. in the Boston Common right now. Not Boston Commons, which I'm pretty sure I called it earlier. Dating from 1634, this is the oldest city park in the U.S. of A. I mean, it's even got a carousel. Also right next to it is a public garden which has squirrels and ducks. what I should do in Boston. The number one thing people recommended was to do the Freedom Trail. So we're going to do the Freedom Trail. Now what the Freedom Trail is, is a 2.5 mile walking path that takes you along 16 of the country's most significant historical landmarks. Um, now we're not gonna do all 16 of them because that's a lot, um, but I'm gonna do some of them. And right now I'm just kind of planning through this map that I've purchased. Well, we've done this one, check. I was gonna be following this map pretty poorly, even though I'm actually kind of good with maps. But this makes it so much easier. A line on the ground that I can follow. It's a red brick road, not a yellow brick road, a red brick road. First up, we've got the Massachusetts State House. Now, the original owner is John Hancock, which was the first governor of Massachusetts and signer of the Declaration of Independence. This is Boston's first burial ground. It's actually really pretty and eerie. I find graveyards so like pretty eerie. Is that, is that a term? I don't I don't even know what kind of emotion I'm trying to convey here, but it's really really cool. I feel like this one's very self-explanatory. It's old city hall. Boston Tea Party, might have heard of it. Might ring a bell of familiarity. The Old South Meeting House. This is where it began. It is the site where the tea tax protest took place, which eventually led to the Boston Tea Party, which eventually led to the revolution and America declaring its independence from Britain. It's a pretty big deal, this building right here. I don't know if I should touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. The old state house, aka Boston's oldest surviving public building. A whole lot of stuff happened here. I have fallen in love with Boston. Guys, I want to move here. I'm serious, I'm pretty sure Boston just become my favorite city in the US. Even though I've not been to every city in the US, I've been to a lot of major ones. I hope you've enjoyed exploring with me. Obviously this isn't everything you could do in Boston. This is just a little bit of a teaser, a taster to get us, you know, accustomed, welcomed, 
and um, I know I'll definitely be back and maybe you will as well. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this bus trip series and following along with me from New York to Boston. If you enjoyed these videos, please give them a thumbs up, let me know down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more travel videos by me. Alright, see you guys again soon. Bye!